Father, forgive us for what we must do. You'll forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through... We'll hey, hey, guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are still here at Sanderbagger Sea, Germany. And what we're trying to do at this point is we're trying to move on from the really big fish and into the more commonly fished for species. Now, one of the ones that I had noticed, there hasn't been too many videos done with regards to the common bream, which come in all four sizes, young, common, trophy, and unique. And I think we're going to try to focus on them in this particular episode because I have a really good location for them. And as we go through this particular waterway, we're going to try to hit on some of these others. Have not been able to find the trophy grass carp yet, but we will get to that point. But anyway, where we need to go, if we go to the map, there is Sunrise Fishing, which is over here to the very western side of the lake if I'm seeing this right this actually may not be west I think we're looking at this from a northerly perspective if we look at our regular map which is correct yes this is on the east side so we are looking at this correctly so if you come here for the very east which is right here what we need to do is we need to move from here up to this location up here a little bit further north. Now I've already got my rod pod set up there so that I can find it but let me show you. You come in here right this location and you've got to walk all the way up here and it's probably a little bit faster to go ahead and get close to the road or even on the road. But we're going to have to look because there's only a small break in the reeds right there. And after that, you have to walk quite a bit farther and you're going to start getting into more other species like big head carp locations. But we need to pass this tree. And there should be another tree. And we should start looking for the break. Might look at the map here to make sure we are. Yeah, we're almost there. It is a bit of a walk. But there's only one break right here. And there isn't for another good distance to the north. But here's where we have the rod pod left. Now, if we look at the map again, we're going to see that there is a deep hole right here, out here in this location. It goes along the whole stretch of the waterway. I'm going to go ahead and set a marker for the last fish, which just happened to be a trophy common bream. And it was just right there. But they're all along here. We can find them out here in other locations as well. But what we're going to be using, we're going to be using bottom rods. It doesn't really matter the size so much, but a number one hook seems to work best. Caster maggots, those are very popular with the brain. Uh, so are, let's see, let me go ahead and take a look at the inventory here. If you don't have the caster maggots, the pearl barley is also real good. Semolina balls. But the caster maggots seem to be their favorite. And blood worms are also good as well. But I have done better with the caster maggots than anything else. Now I'm going to try to cast this out as far as I can. Towards the hole. Now I've got that marker out there just so that I have a guide. Here's another one that I've got caster maggots on. I 
Now this one here is a little bit different. This is actually on a carp ranger, so it's a carp rod. But we can still catch the bream off of this with no problem. I've got a little bit of ground bait thrown in here with just some honey citrus flavoring and tutti frutti supreme golden aroma. Uh, I've got a blood worm sinking boilie on here. So we're going to see if they won't go for that. It's my understanding as they will go for worms and blood worms. So we're going to try this. It's a 6.6 inch boilie. If we don't get any bites off of that, we might go down to 0.3. Go something a little smaller. And I've got my float rod. It is set out to 107 inches with a lead on it. And I've got caster maggots and I've got a number one hook on there. And I've got a large bobber just to get a little more distance. But this is the last one I caught a bream off of and it was a trophy. So... Now we may not get as many bites right now because it is early morning. And if I'm not mistaken, the peak is actually more towards midday. So we're going to try this for a few minutes, see if we get anything. If not, we'll go ahead and advance time. Alright guys, I am back. I did manage to have to move time forward a little bit. Actually all the way to 2 p.m. And that is the peak time. On a cloudy day here and it looks like as soon as I did we were starting to get reactions here here we go yeah the the brain seem to really pay attention to the peaks so let's get this one in I'm thinking we might have us a trophy here based on how much he's fighting It's definitely a bream. Yep, there you go. Trophy common bream. And we are getting a lot of activity here, which is really good. This is off the float rod I've got out there. Something keeps pecking at it. We might have to experiment a little bit with the carp rod. But we'll see. We're at least getting a bite off of it, so that's a good sign. And we've got something. But it may not be a bream. Out there, there's all kinds of things. And there's plenty of carp species. But let's see what this guy is. Seriously, was just experimenting to see which which type of boilie or pellet it's going to go for. Let's see what we got here, guys. I think we got us a carp. Yep. Even off a number one hook. <laughs> that one is not giving up. Okay, come on. Yeah, we're not getting the float indicator, so we're going to have to just keep an eye on this one. Alright, well... We're still just getting carp off of that. We're going to have to come up with something... Something else that's going to work. 
And we got these Bloodworm Sinking Pellets. They're only 3.3 inches. I think that's what we may have to give a try here. Alright guys, looks like we have something here. This is fairly good size. Well, maybe. I mean, I think this is at least a trophy. Guys, I think we might have one. I think we... Yes, we do. Unique common bream. Eight bait coins. 7.539 pounds. Not bad. Not bad at all. And yeah, we've got all kinds of fish still biting here. All right. Oh, we are getting all at one time here. Now this, I want to see what we got. I'm hoping we've got us a bream on here. And not a young common carp. Sometimes I wish you could reel this in a little bit faster. <laughs> well, I'll be darned. He got off of there anyway. Okay, whatever this is, it's very small. Probably young common bream. I wish it was a Eurasian Ruffy because that would complete one of my exploration missions. But it is a Prussian carp. Not at all what I was expecting. Okay, we'll toss this back out. Toss this back out. Still an old. Still don't know what the heck was on this one. Yeah, I don't think the carp hooks have an actual barb, so they get off fairly easy. I might actually put some pearl barley on here just to see how well that catches. Second one's got a bite. Nope. He's just pecking at it. Let's throw the pearl barley out there. When I used to play Russian Fishing 4, they really bought well off of that. More, probably more so than the caster maggots. I think I might switch bobbers. This one, I think this one offers a little too much resistance, and that's causing them not to bite as well. Another one here. This time I've added, well, it shouldn't say empty recipe. I added a bream recipe of ground bait just to see if this helps. And I think it might be already helping because this is a fairly big fish. Yep, he is a trophy. It's cool that they turn yellow when they get past common. Mm 
Yeah, this particular type of mixture only works for the closed feeders on bottom rods, though that's the only thing. I'm still trying to learn how to mix these things. Now on this one, I just put straight peas. Seems to me that even though we have a chance of getting carp, it might increase our odds for the brain. And it did. There you go. We've got one that's really persistent here, so let's see what the heck this guy wants. Not as persistent as he was, he's not very big. And yeah, it seems like the ground bait is increasing the bite ratio. Yeah, I don't think we have anything monstrous here either. But we did get a young common brain. Now let me show you this particular ground bait. Now, like I said, I am very new to mixing these things but I just called a bream treat and I'm mixing big river ring bremer 35 ounces I believe it's a kill about a kilogram of uh, for the metric system spicy worms golden for the aroma three ounces which I think 30 grams would be the equivalent and the particles hemp corn golden also 30 grams or three ounces you mix these together and you throw them in a, f a flat feeder or just like one of these right here a closed feeder not a flat feeder and it seems to have increased their bite rate considerably like I said I am not somebody who's that familiar with fishing for carp strictly I have fished for carp but never used ground baits and spod rods and all that stuff and I'm perfectly willing to learn how but there there's definitely a science to this <laughs> so if you've got any good uh, recipes or mixtures some of these species that be a especially catfish I know they've got it for catfish too they've got to that'd be one I want to learn but yeah switching this over to peas has made a difference I would imagine sweet peas would have the same effect but yeah you can see they're biting much better And if you manage to get a unique, that's eight gold, or eight bait coins. Common bream. So I think that's every size of bream. Already mastered. I'm going to try casting over this way a little bit. Yeah, I'd like to get one more unique. But I've messed around with the hook sizes, and yes, the one number one hook size seems to be the best to use. Uh, 
Now I'm going to do some float fishing with sweet peas and see if that gets them as well. I have a feeling if we use corn, that's going to get the carp. I didn't see corn on their list. That doesn't mean they don't eat it, but... But I think you have to be at least a level 50 to get a spud rod. And I don't know how you mix the stuff up for that. Yeah, they're pecking at it. There we go. Come on, don't just play with it. There he goes. Now, let's see. Did we get us a carp, or did we get us... Yes, we did. Common brain. They go for the sweet peas. Awesome. I was hoping that was going to be the case. Okay, we got one there. They are still going for the pearl barley. There are a few Prussian carp out there too, so... Young one. I didn't take one. Yeah, we're still getting the common brain with that. Now this is off the blood worms for the first time. Yeah, I really would like to test the same mixture over at Weeping Willows, too. Ooh, common roach. That's a little different. No, we're getting plenty of bites. And we're getting common roach now for some reason. It's kind of weird. 
Haven't been getting them up to now, so they must go for that ground bait too. Let's try throwing it out a little further. There we go. There's a trophy off of off of this well regular piece. We'll change out the sweet piece just to see. Sweet peas are a little tastier, I think. Alright, we've got one here. Now, if I get another roach, I think I'm going to go back to the caster maggots. No, nope. there we go. Young common brain. We are getting a lot of activity off of this. I'm going to go ahead and switch because this one looks like it's bigger. There we go. Common size. I think I have a fish on every rod. Common carp. I don't know what in the world's on this one, but it is really taking it for a loop there. Yeah, this one's considerably bigger. So we either got us a carp, 
Well, we really got us a big brain. That's a card. We managed to get all of them. And another common brain. Yeah, if we check our inventory here... We're getting quite a few here. Now, I did have to come back, but as you can see, we are getting the common bream. Now, this isn't the highest cash value of anything, but you do catch them quite often and quite... Well, just in a short period of time, you can still earn plenty of cash. But the uniques are found here. I did manage to pull one in. A lot of trophies. I don't know which of the days are better. I mean, when I came in here first, it was cloudy. Right now it's sunny. I think cloudy might have been a little better for the bigger ones. And we're also now getting some of the other species too, which we weren't getting before. We're getting the, the roach, which they're not really worth much cash. I'm not even sure if they come in unique sizes here. I think they're just common. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.